Hey Islanders, welcome back. And for those that are just joining us to the island, welcome to the island. Hope you enjoy your stay here. Uh, I'm going to be your host, Kevin. And today on this inauguration of a brand new series on our channel that we like to call Treasure Trove, we're just going to be starting talking about like figurine reviews, unboxings of cool toys, and whatever else we get here at the island that, that y'all love to send us or that people send us or that we just get on our own. Because we all like to go to cons and get cool things, and we're just going to show what all the stuff we get. I've been waiting for this figure, that's what we have here, is a giant figure that I've been waiting for for a good while, and it is my uh, my waifu Boa, Boa Hancock, from One Piece, for those that don't know, and it is the Magic Cube Studio One Piece 1 6th uh, GK resin statue. So it is just a giant statue, giant figurine, if you haven't already noticed, I collect figurines. I got a couple around the room. Uh, I'm really excited for this one. I don't know what's what's all gonna be in it, so we're gonna we're gonna open it and find out together, and I'm gonna do a little review on it. So thank you for joining us, and uh, let's delve into it. So first off, that's the big old box that it came in. I was not ready for a big ass box. I really wasn't. I didn't know what to think, but this is just the shipping box. So they did real good at getting it here, and it's nice and pretty, so it doesn't mess up. That's the box that it had in it. That it came in. They did pretty good at shipping it. I mean, it's got its wears and tears, but for what it did coming from Hong Kong, I'm okay with it. We got her head, girl herself, and her hair is also very, very detailed in how it curves and the coloration and the shading. Like, I don't know if you can see the shading. Well, it's kind of bad, but it goes from dark to dark to light blue all the way through it it's pretty good it's in good condition we got her din din machine because I mean you have to and I think it's magnetized at the bottom no those are just stoppers they just sit the other side of her din din machine it's got the kuja symbol on it Magnetizes too. And the cool part of her Dindin Mushi is it is like your tag of which one it is. So number 219 of 308. So, heck yeah. More of her snake. So this dude's already going to be crazy to build, I can tell. Here's the base. <laughs> Got all the things on it. So what we're building from is right here. Maybe the snake's supposed to be jacked up. I don't know. We're gonna put it there. The Kuja button that goes on the front, I think. I do believe it goes right there. I'm impressed that it stayed, but the other pink side, the big one, there's a side view of it almost the length of my arm <laughs> is is pretty much the length of my arm a smaller one I guess a couple of the things broke off but it's to be expected on something like that there we go this ridiculous snake is the snake man's how we gotta finagle this guy tornado dang everything is like a perfect fit on there Kate goes on before her hair. Yeah. Order of operation, children. There we 
it goes. After hearing you popped off, so I had to, I had to quick super glue it. The snake, though, that dude I can't fix with super glue, sadly. Her belt. Boom. Snap off. Yeah, it sure did. Alright, so the pink things did get snapped. Because that one is supposed to be there. But it is snapped. Because they're. Because it makes a heart. In the back side, the little house goes there. Little house. Boom. And then the snakes go on the back. Boom. Boom. Little snakes. That piece hooks in there. But that is her, Boa Hancock, and her dead dead machine. I forgot the snake. Sorry, buddy. There we go. It was a bit rough getting through the unboxing of this girl and putting her together, but overall, I'm totally excited for it. It's a very detailed piece. Every little bit is super detailed. The little hearts have different shadings on them. The dead dead machine is super detailed in just what it is. It's got all of this little, like, the kuja symbols on them, her hair, everything. Every little inch of this figure is super, super detailed. I'm going to have to figure out what to do about the broken pieces. I will figure that out, but this is going to be, like, the main piece of my collection going forward. Thank you guys for joining me here. Sorry for the crazy unboxing, but, I mean, never dealt with a 1-6 figure, so it's kind of crazy, but it was awesome. Thank you for staying with me, and we'll see you all again next time at the Treasure Trove. Later. Also guys, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and if you wanna keep up to date on all of our future content, make sure you tap that bell. And go ahead and check us out on our streams. Don't forget to support us on Patreon, and thank you for staying here on the island. Later guys. Bye.